so it came to my attention at DK Odie's is getting it's in the middle of a class action lawsuit and of course welcome to my car again uh featuring me wild fang the defeationist uh driving throughout the lovely place of Tempe, arizona um from what i can tell you and what i can see uh dk odies is in a process of uh class action lawsuit it hasn't fully gone through just this very second it's in the process of you know being you know done and I'm not gonna lie to you, right? And I'm really gonna, I'm gonna be a little skeptical on this. I'm not a hundred percent sure everything's gonna go as planned, and I really hope it does. But I'm more surprised that one, somebody is in the process of doing this. But if everything goes through, I'd actually be more surprised than anything. Because I I don't know it just call me jaded call me you know worry uh, pessimistic I feel as though that it may not lead to anything or may not go anywhere and I I really want it to I really 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 want uh, the class session lawsuit to go through and actually do something to DK Odie's which would kind of have a ripple effect to other companies like I don't know Lukey Games who I bought a PSP from them one time in the past and uh, the PSP was broken completely but that's a whole nother story for another day I just hope and pray that like I said the class action lawsuit does go through it has a ripple effect to everybody including GameStop in which you know it kind of lets everybody know to stop saying the words fucking refurbished and I even saw people in the comments of the last video he said and I quote this that you know he received bugs and stuff in his console so you know it also prevents dumb shit like that that man gave me flashbacks to when I worked at Comcast and when I was working at Comcast I've seen a lot of people come in that Comcast with uh, bugs in their uh, their cable boxes and that shit was disgusting so I can understand that person oh, completely in the nonsense that that is. Um, but back to what I was saying, I would like this to be a lesson to various other people. Uh, DK Odie's can have a change. All DK Odie's gotta do at this point is just be like, bro, we fucked up, we're done. And even I would be like, okay, cool, you're, you're good. Because at this point, they keep doubling down on their nonsense and it's too many people that keep getting this shit. Now, they're gonna have high profile people join in on the Clash Action lawsuit, up to and including Review Tech USA and like Jacob R. And they're going to join in on the fucking Clash Action lawsuit and it's gonna be broadcasted to more people who bought shit from DK Odies, which is going to make them look terrible at the end. So, like I said, I hope a lot of people actually join in on the class action lawsuit and it's not just, you know, oh my God, this didn't go through because a lot of people didn't, you know, do their part. I really hope a lot of people do and I really hope that this goes through the way it's supposed to go through. But to be completely honest, like I said earlier in this video, during my drive here, that if it goes through, I'm going to be so surprised if it doesn't go through or lead to anything. I'm not going to be surprised. I'm just going to look at, I'm going to look at every day and be like, okay. For me personally, like I said, I hope it goes through. But uh, at this point, it's not looking like it's going to be great. It's in the process. And like I said, at least on the positive side, it's going to make ripples in the retro gaming community. Is it going to be a large ripple? It depends if everything goes through. Because like I said, even GameStop lies and says they refurbish their consoles. And I used to work there. I could still work there if I wanted to. But refurbishing? Nah. <laughs> they, they, that's not what they do. They just wipe down the consoles and everything. So somebody can literally have a freaking beehive in their shit. As long as it cuts on, it's good. It's not refurbished. But uh, that's a whole other story, like I said. Okay, 
that being said, guys, I want to let you guys go uh, simply because, like I said, I'm not too 110% invested into the lawsuit, but I will be watching to see if it uh, goes through. And if it goes through, I'll be making a video saying, yay, it's going through. DK Otis is getting that class action lawsuit. Many people signed up and it's gonna go to the uh, gods of law to see what the fuck is gonna happen to that company. If the company shuts down, it's their fault. If the company stays afloat, that would be great. I don't want nobody to lose their job. I just want people to stop lying. It's kind of like NFTs and uh, cryptocurrency. <laughs> you kind of like, you, you just know it's, it's, oh my God. I'm not gonna get into that bullshit. Other than that, i catch you guys later. I probably repeated myself too many times, but I'm also driving and paying attention to the road. i catch you guys later.